Welcome to my channel, The Simple Mama. My name is Sinead and I am a mum of six and I homeschool and I have a newborn baby, well newborn-ish. She is four months old and recently I have been asked how I homeschool with a newborn and I wanted to get fancy at one point and I was going to try and make a point by point video but then I just had to be honest with myself and I promised that I would keep it really honest with um, you know with everyone that I share with and this honestly is how I homeschool with a newborn. I decided to just pick up my iPhone and just film everything I did when I was homeschooling. Um, right now it's around 10 a.m. and I am just, we've just finished breakfast and I'm trying to find my kids, get them together. My house is dirty. I'm in my house dress. It's a typical morning in my home and today I'm going to bring you along with a homeschool with me video. I hope you enjoy. That table, please. Get your school books out. All right, let's clear up the breakfast mess. No, you cannot. Hey, Bubba. Okay, now everyone listen while I read, okay? Okay. All right. I need it outside, please. Right, Where's Bess? She's gonna want one too. Teach me good judgment and knowledge, for I have believed thy commandments. Psalm 119, verse 66. All right, can you do it without looking? Okay. Teach me good. No, teach me good judgment and command knowledge, for I have believed thy commandments. Psalm 119, verse 66. Good. All right. Well, next one. Uh, we'll do that for the rest of this week. You've only got tomorrow. And then we'll move on to the next verse next week. Bessie! I have 
on two, please. Oh, really? Okay. You want one of these? Bess! Bessie, do you want some of these with peanut butter on? Oh, you already got one. Uh, I Okay, do you want that one? Alright, go on them outside, please, on the swings. Okay, quick review. So, what are you doing? You're doing. I've completely forgot it all. Um, subtracting, okay? So, I just. So, you do 4 nine, minus. Can't go. One. So, you just start with this one. So, you go 4 minus 8. Now, 4 is and smaller you... than 8. Mm, so, you need, so you need to borrow from the bank. How much do you borrow? 1. But what does the 1 mean? Uh, 10. 10, okay? So now it's 14 minus 8. There you go. So that would be... Alright, now um, it's 26. Which one? This one? Yeah. 2 counted 2 times equals... 2 times? It's 2. No, 2 counted 2 times. Um, 4. Yeah. Another one. Yeah, oh, yeah. 15 miles. Peanut butter's here. Oh, I'm trying to clean up my mess. Where's that knife gone? Um, okay. Susan invited so. nine friends to her birthday party. She made two small gifts for each guest. How many gifts did Susan make for her party? Two. So she invited nine friends and she made two gifts. So it's more. So, listen, she had nine friends all together, and for each friend, she gave them two gifts when they arrived at her party. How many gifts did she have to make? Alrighty, is it good? Mm -hmm. Okay. Ida has 81 pine cones that she plans to use to decorate Christmas wreaths. Yep. <laughs> 
So he gave Brad a 50 cent coin for a treat that it cost 35 cents. How much was Brad's change? Seven. Mm, no. What's 50 minus 35? 35. Just, that's what you need. Write it as a sum and work it out. Okay? Your baby. 25. Come on, do your work, please. Mom. Come on. Yes. Um, Sarah will call Jacob a brat. Okay. But who likes this good over that? So we read Luke 6 for Bible. <laughs> and William, you need to do some more of your human anatomy. <laughs> Come on, James, stop being distracted, please. I go to the I'm not having three. Alright, so let's read the next um, paragraph there on that on that tongue. This one? Yeah, uh, no, we read that's the ancient Egyptians, so let's go to the top one. We don't have the stuff to do the Apple experiment yet, we can get that today. Okay. So let's do the ancient Hebrews, so let's go. Okay. If you are ready... Uh, if the, you've read... If you've read the Bible, you probably, probably heard of God's choice chosen chosen people the israelites israelites in the bible they are also called the the hebrews 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 through they didn't though not through they God's chosen people, the Israelites. In the Bible, they are also called Hebrews. Though they didn't study the human body like the Egyptians, the Hebrew people had the benefit of good health when they kept God's laws. You see, God gave the Hebrews a lot of rules. Some of those rules had the advantage of protecting the Israelites from tiny organisms called germs. These rules can be found in the Old Testament. This part of the Bible tells the story of God's people before Jesus came to earth, thousands of years before scientists knew that germs existed. Yes. <laughs> okay, so that's... Um, Give them away. Let's get your notebook <coughs> out and let's just write down a few facts from that little paragraph there. Okay. So let's go instead. Yet yeah, God gave them rules. Okay. God gave... Not give, gave. Oh, it's A. Gave E at the end, yep. Gave them, them the uh, e. E. Mm. them rules. Ooh, ooh, rules. E at the end. So E S. No 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 no. E S. Oh, the opposite. There. Okay. Rules. Rules. All right. You sit there. All right. What are you up to, James? I'm fine. Okay. You're all good. All right. Okay. Let's sit back down here. Hopefully, we get some minutes. Yes. All right. Let's go.
And ancient Egyptians. Okay, so what did they do? They made mummies. How did oh, they do it? They um put salt over them. So they rubbed their body with salt. What else did they do? Um, they wrapped them up. But what else did they do? What do they dice? What do they cut out of them? <gasps> oh yeah, they cut out the liver, but not the heart. They think they're. Yeah, the sea chimes. 